Hi everyone, it's Angela here from the Free Range family. We're up to about day 13 of the 21 day video challenge and today I just want to share a quick story with you um, just about the birth of our daughter Emily. Um, some of you may or may not know that she was born prematurely. She was 10 weeks premature. She weighed um, only 965 grams when she was born, so it's two pounds, two ounces. Um, she spent 10 weeks in the neonatal unit. She ended up coming home about um, the day before her due date. Um, and I was quite, the reason she was born prematurely was that I was um, very sick with preeclampsia and HOP syndrome. Um, so it was a bit of a, a shock to the system. I got up that morning, went to work, not expecting that by the end of the day um, would be parents. Um, so it was all very rushed and no time to think. Um, and I think our families got a little bit of a shock when we rang them that evening and said that we had a daughter. Um, although, to be fair, I didn't actually see Emily to start with. Um, I, she was born by general, well, I was, had a general anaesthetic, um, and I didn't see her till the next day. Um, but we had a bit of a rough ride with her in the neonatal unit. Um, it's not a place that you wish anyone to have to go with their babies. Um, the staff are lovely and incredibly supportive, and without them, Emily may not be here. Because um, we had our ups and downs a couple of times, we thought we might lose her. Um, she's got a few infections and things like that. But um, one thing you do learn in a situation like this is the neonatal babies are incredibly strong. They are much stronger than people th um, think. Um, I mean, they in, in one way they are pretty delicate. I remember when I first held Emily, um, yeah, my instinct was to stroke her. And then they said, well, the nurse said to me, oh, don't do that. She's only got one layer of skin. And I was like, oh. I froze, I was like, oh, okay, I won't do that. <laughs> um, and then there'd be times I'd be holding her and her head would fall down, um, slip down on my on my chest, and um, the alarms would go off because it would cut off her, her air supply. Um, and that was a bit scary. Um, uh, but I made a lot of friends in the unit. A lot of the other mothers were obviously going through the same sort of thing themselves. Um, and I learned that no one else's ex experience was worse than any others unless you lost your baby um, and uh, it's a surreal experience it's, it's very hot in the unit um, you get used to the or how do you get used to the smells the sounds of the alarms the monitors the heat it's kept to 28 degrees um, and your world gets very narrow for those, that time you're in there. Um, you can't look too far ahead. Sometimes you only have to take things day by day or hour by hour. Um, but you, I, I learnt from that experience how strong I am in a situation like that. Um, I found an inner strength that I never knew I had. Um, that I'm determined to get through a situation no matter what. Um, I've since been through other hard times since then and... We're getting through. It's been tough, very tough, but in a situation like having a premature baby, you learn what you're made of. You really, really do. You learn a lot about yourself as well, how strong you can be. Um, I could have crumpled many a time, but I didn't. Um, sure, it was tough, but I just had to keep going. I had to keep going for Emily's sake. Um, and in the end, after 10 weeks, we brought a beautiful, healthy baby girl home. She was still little, but she was healthy, she didn't go home on oxygen, I was feeding her, and once she left the unit she moved ahead in leaps and bounds, and she's doing really fantastic, she's great now. Um, so my lesson in this video is that um, you can learn from life experiences, and you can find an inner strength that you never knew you had, um, and it will help take you further, it really will. So if you want to find out more about what we're doing, what we're doing here at the Free Range Family, you can find us on freerangefamily.net, you can find us on Facebook and YouTube. So we'll see you on tomorrow's video. Have a great day.